That's a hard line. Come on. That's your line of destiny. And this is your life line. This is quite long, Ronnie. Is that the line of a long time? Of course it doesn't. It means you've got big hands, that's all. I've not got big hands, have I, Callie? I'm just because you don't believe in it, Jane. Well, you'd better off sticking to horoscopes. Not that I believe in them either. Horoscopes are different altogether. They tell you about the future. Palm reading tells you more about the character. What a person's really like. You don't have to read a palm to know what she's like. You know already. That's what it's called. Why is it a cold? It's obvious she knows you, right? So which season your palm's going to reflect that? Bound to. I don't cheat, if that's what you're suggesting. You don't have to know a person to be able to read their palms. Believe what you like. You won't convince her. Girls, could you give me a hand? That's another palm reader. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of leaflets to carry and you're nice and strong. You would take these, Caroline. And you take these. Veronica and I will manage the rest between us. Range Hill Bridge Builders. What are they, miss? We'll find out, Caroline, as soon as we get into class. You all right with that? In. Good, off we go, then. Come on, Jane. Oh, I've left something. You carry on. Well, close the door behind you when you come out. Yes, miss. times do you have to be told do not leave valuables in lockers it's asking for this sort of thing to happen no one knew how to radio in the miss well, except him well, thieves are happy to take pot luck tom if they hit the jackpot like they have here it encourages them to carry on hardly jackpot all i had in mind was swimming goggles and a pair of trainers and my medallion wasn't worth much it stayed in there most of last year without being pinched and this used to be Rodney Bennett. I beg your pardon? It's only this term it started, miss. We never had this before. I see. You were Britain's only crime-free school before you joined up with Brookdale and Grange Hill. No, miss, but... Well, that's a pity. We could have excluded all former Rodney Bennett boys from our investigations. Maybe we should pick these up late, Crunch. They might have gone by then. And it gives us all day to flog them. I have to clean them up first. Give me some credit, Ollo. I wasn't going to take them around with rubbish dump written all over them. There's no one at the gate. Didn't think there would be. Smart only stays five minutes. That's the advantage of coming in really late. We've still got Miss Washington to face. Ollo, given the choice, which one would you rather see? You two of me and you'd be all right. Nah. Let's put some our lockers to a break. Washington. Ah, Mr. Smart. I booked a court for, uh, managed to book a court for half past five, if that's all right with you. Fine, but I should warn you, I'm pretty hopeless. That I refuse to believe. I brought two rackets, by the way, just in case you might. I break one? In case you forgot yours. Don't put yourself down. Squash isn't a difficult game. Getting a court's the hardest bit. We've done that. See you later, then. Five o'clock? Yes, absolutely. Luke Gardner and Paul Holloway, where have you been? Morning, Gardner. Let's start with the socks, shall we? Can't find any cutters, sir. They are over there in that cupboard. They're not. Oh, look, they're all gone. They can't be. There's a pair for each of you. You didn't look, did you? Ah. Anyone got more than one pair of cutters? Well, look around for someone here. There must be somewhere. I just can't see any, sir. Where I can share a pair. Huh. Two weeks into term and things are walking already. Things I had to fight tooth and nail to get before this year started. I don't know why I bothered. There's no keeping up with you lot. Get out. I don't want any more in here. Well, Mr. Smart kept us, sir. Aye, would that he had. There's very little point in you turning up here. We were short of tools before you arrived. Anyway, put your bag down and get on with it. And what are they on your feet? You say shoes and I'll clout you. 
socks, sir. White socks, when they ought to be grey as well, you know that. Have I got any grey ones, sir? Well, you'd better get some soon, hadn't you? Otherwise, it's going to be socks all round for you. See me at 3.30, both of you. What for? For being late. But well, that's the smart sinus about that. Whatever punishment he meted out to you is for being late for the start of school. I'm on about being late for my lesson. Different crimes entirely. Here, I picked these up for you. I was given out a registration. Grind you bridge builders? What the heck are they? I'll tell you later. Right up your street, or not. Where's your apron? I got it, sir. It's not your day, is it? Two hundred times I must wear an apron for metalwork for tomorrow morning, first thing. Here, put this on. Someone left it behind. Sir? There ain't no cutters left. Oh. That one's about the room numbers being changed. We're staying the same, but they're starting there from 101. So we don't get confused. Could make it worse. Means having to learn new room numbers. This one's about the school play with Washington's organising. There's auditions next week. If you're interested, it's all on there. What about this one? Grand Jewel Bridge Builders. It's a name that's been classically caught up. Terrible, isn't it? Sounds like hard work. It's a scheme she's come up with to bridge the gap between young and old in this area. That's how she come up with her name. What do we do? Answer these questions. No, we get old folks to fill them in. Pensioners and that who could do with some help. What sort of help? Any kind, I suppose. The idea is to make us seem youthful. The school, that is. It's up to us who's known me put then. Yep, I'm putting my gram. Come on, where you been? You've been out me with these. Sorry, Gonch. Rob's been explaining these handouts. You got them done then? I prepared them for re panning if that's what you mean. Interested? What? In old folders? Oh, they've hardly been used. Where'd you get them? Tip top supplier. Come and have one, they're dead cheap. Could do with one of them, I suppose. How much? Tempe? You're going to have three kids when you're older. Two girls and one boy. You're quite ambitious, aren't you? You can tell by this line here. Yeah, I suppose I am a bit. I should know this thing, Callie. My Aunt Liz, she knows all about palm reading. Come along, girls. Go to tonight's folder. Only 5p. Snip at the price. Or some box files. Keep knickknacks in. Knickknacks? Do you mind? What? Go away, we're busy. Too busy to save ourselves money? Where'd you nick them? Do we look like thieves? Do you know about him? Ronnie. You know me. I'm just out to do you all a favour. Good, then hop it. You know what they say about hatred? Sign of true love. Gardner! Come on, Lolo. We'll find someone that appreciates us. You have a long search. What are you lot doing anyway? Having their palms read and their leaves alone. All right. Heard of old rubbish, that. What's he now? Who's next, Kelly? I am. Let me see. This is your heart line, and this is your lifeline. Give us it. Hello. What? Thanks, Flavor. You just turned us down. No, I didn't. I turned that idiot gardener down. Not you. He's always trying it on. Don't know why you go around with him. What is it you want? You don't believe in palm reading any more than I do. Well, I want to show that look. But we're right. See this? This is a photocopy of my palm. Good, isn't it? You can see every line. What do you want me to do with it? Give it to Callie, see what she thinks. But don't tell her whose it is, and then she'll think it's yours. And I'll go off and tell the rest that it's mine, of course. Why do you want me to do that? Well, it has to be a boy to put her off the scent. Go on, please. We'll be all right, love. And I'll buy one of them off you. All right, if you put it like that. Come along. You only have ten minutes to reach the lower school building. Ten minutes? You heard me. I paced it out myself, and that's how long it takes. Uh... Well, don't just stand there. Press the button. Only two left. Come on. Special offer, five p. Oh, I get it all God. from Vince. Oh, Last week it was Tarzan oh, Cut Hangers. I don't know, Trev. 
Best not to know, probably. Red Grey got a five pound. Oh, wise lady. But a stroke. I'll like. just try next week. For Mum's pay? Yeah. You need your time and pay for birthday, don't you? I've asked my mum, but she don't seem to remember mine. Don't believe that. Mum's always remember those things. Unless she's got something to hide, of course. What do you mean? Nothing. Just some little secret she doesn't want you finding out about. What year was your mum and dad married? 1972. Two years before I was born. You'd better watch what you're saying. Oi, Donington, I've got something for you. What? What? What's it look like? How about reading it and see what you think? Who did it? Can't tell you that. Just call it a mystery celebrity. Do it yourself. What's the matter? Are you chicken? No. Well, go on then. Tell you whose it is once you've worked out their personality from that. All right. Give it till tomorrow. I think it's stuck, sir. It's a final straw. It really is. I'm not having any more of this. Wrong. At least you're consistent, Savage. Do it again. This time, do it right. Just a minute. Who's been in this bag? Hey, one, sir. Well, somebody has. There were two squash rackets in here an hour ago. I don't think they were there when we came in, sir. Right. Nobody leaves this room oh. until I have searched. Oh. That's enough. That's enough. None of us play squash, sir. We wouldn't have them. Stand up, you two. Come on, move it. Well, we just thought we ought to let you know how we feel, rather than let it build up, you know. I take it you speak for the whole of the staff? Well, 99% of them, anyway. There's no need to sound apologetic, Jeff. It's part of my job to hear grievances. I'm glad you felt you could bring them to me. I'm not unaware of the problems, and I have been trying to put them right, but obviously not quickly enough. Well, no one's blaming you personally, Mrs. McCluskey. We do appreciate that there are certain channels you have to go through in order to get anything done. Yes, well, that's true, but if staff feeling is running this high, it should spur things on a bit. Right, you see, we... May I say thought... something? Yes, Mr. Bronson? I think we ought to have some sort of busing arrangement between the two buildings. Twenty minutes I wasted getting here today. The lesson was hardly worth taking. The match is being gone into at this very moment, I do assure you. What about tighter security in the playground? Children are wandering in and out willy-nilly. Little wonder we can't trace any of the property that's been stolen when it can oh. be whisked straight out into the street. The parties are being prepared to counteract that precise problem, Mr. Smart. No child will be allowed to leave the playground without one. Well, I if that's can't it... quite see how that would work. My class moves sites practically every day. Do they get a new pass each time? They'll have to be a gatekeeper. Us, you mean? Not necessarily, but clearly some Security inside will school is lax. Things are going missing from the my room. The renumbering of the upper school is causing problems. The children are finding it very confusing. And some find it confusing that the numbers in the lower school have stayed the same, would you believe? Is the school insured for the loss of staff property? Because I'm too squash rackets light. With all due respect, Mr. Smart, the loss of your sports equipment pales into insignificance compared with the problems caused by lack of parking space at both sides, there is simply not enough room for all the cars we have to accommodate. And you, Jeff, haven't you anything more to say? Oh, don't look at me. I mean, I'm just the spokesman. Person. He's forgotten about it. I'll say we should go. He told us to wait here, Gonch. Why if he comes when we're gone? 3.30, he said. Gone quarter to four now. That means Mackenzie's late. Come to tell us off for being late. So we're quits. Right. So how was it? I thought you were coming. Yeah, I can guess what happened. Jeff outlined the grievances. Bridget smiled, nodded, smiled. And you all trooped out again. Nothing will actually get done. Something like that. It was a complete waste of breath, in my opinion. A, we were addressing the wrong person, and B, the serious business of running a half-decent school must evidently play second fiddle to a saga of missing squash rackets. This is when we're parking space is serious business, hmm? You see, at Rodney Bennett... Now that's we were... why I didn't come. I can't cope with these, you see, at Rodney Bennett stories. 
There was a time when this staff room was civilized. Oh, at Brookdale, we used to swing from the war bars and thump our chests, <laughs> especially the black teachers. That isn't what I meant at well, all. That was really a thing of beauty, wasn't it? Oh, well, I mean, I feel a right no honor. It's the last time I agree to represent you. Well, for lot. goodness sake. For goodness sake, what? For goodness sake, stop being so self interested, all of you. Honestly, the great male egos thumping oh, about. Oh, well, if we're off old schools and onto men, I'm going home, chaps. Pontius Pilate. Great, isn't it? Well, I thought it was quite a good meeting, but then, of course, I'm not old Grange Hill or Brookdale or Rodney Bennett. I fail to see what our sex has to do with this particular debate. That's just the problem, isn't it? That you fail to see. I think what Jilly was trying to say is that sometimes it seems that you're all a lot happier when things are going wrong, because then you can score points off each other. If that were true, which of course it is not, I still don't see what it has to do with our being men. No, I want to know what it is that I'm blind to. How long have you got? Oh, no. Well, now what? Oh, no, it's all right. What is it? Oh, yes, sir. Thought my car keys had disappeared, but they're here. It's all right. I'm off, then. You see, Geoffrey, it's quite clear that the merger itself is the problem. And all this bickering, these outbursts, this paranoia. Football practice. See you. My Aunt Liv, I want her advice about that Brunella I gave you. She must be out. Can't you do it yourself then? Wouldn't bother me if it was just someone's hand. Someone I could see that is. But this. You said you didn't have to know whose hand it was. You don't. If I get it all wrong, I'll end up looking like a right Nana. Which is what they want you to look. I get it. Why don't we try the local library? They'll have books on it. You reckon? Of course. They've got books and everything. Come on, I'll come with you. Tip top supply. I wasn't lying. Here's a tip. We found them near the top. Two more with Tempe on it. Wouldn't want anyone to find out where we got those folders. Or they'd have us. I don't see why. Don't you? Be scared they might catch something off that lot. Catch something? Don't talk daft. We cleaned the stuff first, didn't we? What more do they want? It's not legal doing this, is it? Of course it's not. It's illegal folk dumping stuff here in the first place. We're doing the council a favour by getting rid of it. Safety helmets. Uh. <laughs> Told you to catch something off that lot sooner or later. Don't know what you're laughing at. Here's yours. Right, you. Get it wrong. This'll do for now. I know someone wants some pram wheels. I'll wash the helmet. So that's where you've been getting it all. I'm glad I didn't buy one of your rotten folders, Luke Gardner. There was nothing wrong with them. That was good stuff. You'll be trying to sell that stuff tomorrow, I suppose. Yeah. Why? Want to get in before anyone else? No one else will be interested when they find out where it came from. And why should they do that? Because I'm telling them. Because cats come across that stuff. Told you. So what if she tells them? Won't bother a lot of people. Might. You wouldn't do a thing like that to us anyway, would you? Get a nice head like Holloway here in trouble. Let them do what they want. As long as it doesn't bother us. Still working on that hair print I gave you? Yeah. I've got it till tomorrow, you said. Save you a lot of time and trouble, if you like. Tell you whose it is. No, thanks. That'd be cheating. I want to prove I can do it properly. Suit yourself. But when you do find out whose it is... It's not a trick, is it? Wouldn't put it past you, lot. Wasn't my idea. Whose idea was it, then? In return for keeping quiet about this place. All right, promise. I didn't ask you for it, remember? OK. We won't let on you were told. We'll be gone. My lips are sealed. 
right, James Bishop, you're going to get what's coming to you. What are you going to do? Thump her one? What? Dirty my hands? Nah. I've got something much better than that. Something that will really put her in her place. There's an old bloke down our road. Is a the type they're after. You go after him, Ollo. I'm staying out of it. Bridge builders. Right while I'd feel going up to someone's door and saying I was one of them. Look, just because it's a bad name doesn't mean to say it's a bad idea. Some old folk, they're on their own. I don't see why we shouldn't help them. You're caring, sharing, comp. If you haven't done anything wrong, you won't mind turning out your pockets, will you? I ain't done nothing. I told you. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. Very interesting. You collect MPs, do you? And you, Savage. What's going on here? School fun's been done. I went it on the fruit machine. I ask him. You think I believe his testimony, dear? Look, if I'd really done it, I wouldn't let you capture me around it, would I? He's right. He's not that stupid. I'm really fascinated. You fascinated, Lynn? You fascinated, so? To see what Miss Clevclogs made of the handprint. Have you done it, Callie? Have you bought your crystal ball? Yes, I have done it, actually. Oh, she has done it, actually. Come on, Holla, we've been waiting for you. What for? See what Kelly made your hand for you. Oh, yeah, that. Didn't say it was mine, though, did I? Well, no, it isn't. How do you know that? It's not the boy's hand. It's the wrong shape. That's clever. How can it be when he gave it to you? Dunno. I'm only saying what I reckon. Go on, Kelly. Tell us what else you found. I've written it all down. It took me ages last night. You found out all that just from a hand? Well, I'd nothing else to go on. <coughs> I told you, hands can be very revealing. Get a move on. DC will be here in a minute. DC? DC? What do you mean? What's it and DC? <laughs> oh, no. 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 I hope it's no one here, really. Why not? Because wherever she is, she hasn't got much going for her. The way I see it. See these lines here? That's vanity. <laughs> Big head, is she? <laughs> <laughs> then there's knuckles. Big and clumsy. What's that sign of? A bit thick, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> it is someone here, isn't it? I'm not saying any more. Now go on, Kelly. They can take it. Yeah, go on. You're doing well. You sure? Go on. All right. No sense of humour. <laughs> <laughs> Little imagination. <laughs> Rather greedy. Unpopular. <laughs> You're making it up. No one can be that bad. Oh, I don't know. She's not far off the mark there. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid game. 